guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is Golo media the best tech and hard stand you can ever find on youtube and in africa on my previous video which was the unboxing of the google chromecast tv which is a streaming device used to stream various platforms like hulu disney hbo max peacock netflix and etc in today's video we'll be unboxing the google nest mini which is a, a smart speaker used to control your home devices such as you should control your lights your tv your speakers your air conditioning and etc this device too can also tell you the time weather and news play music stream everything any question you have in which you want to ask the google nest mini it can provide you an answer because it is uh, supported by or it is controlled by the google assistant or google voice assistant so guys if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel subscribe like and share the video for the family to grow so guys let's get into the unboxing of the video so guys let's begin this is the next meal that i bought from the us on ebay and it took about less than a month for this item to get to me from the united states of america so guys let's start unwrapping the device So guys, this is how the device looks like. So this is how the device looks like you can see here everything hey google that means it supports youtube music spotify the google calendar google maps google video philips google assistant and blah 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 and if you turn to this other side you can see turn up the music group other speakers together control tv light thermostats and a thousand of smart devices with your voice make calls set timers check the weather and many more so guys, let's open to see the device. So this guys, this is the next mini. This is how the next mini looks like and when you look at when you look inside the box you can see that it came with a power adapter google power adapter as you can see the sign google then you also can see that it came with some manuals here to show you how to operate the device Okay, guys so basically this is what is in this box the, adap the adapter and the google nest mini so guys now you plug inside our adapter to the socket and plug it to the nest mini so that you see how it looks like and guys you should know that the nest mini doesn't have a battery inside so it needs to be plugged into a socket on all times in order for it to work Okay guys, so now we plug the power adapter into the next mini and we wait for a while for it to load as you can see. So it's loading, it's putting things together after that it will be to be ready for us to connect. 
So guys, as, as you can see, now the Hi. device is ready. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. I've already downloaded the Google Home app in which I connected my Chromecast to in the last video that I did. So we just need to open our Google Home app. Then we click on add devices or click on add devices. Click on set up a device and click on new device. And click on next. We turn on the Bluetooth. Okay. So now the home app is looking for the devices that are around. So he said, next mini found. Would you like to set up this device and click on yes? So now you can see a blue color on the next mini, which means that it is connecting the device to the Google Home app. Mm -hmm. We heard the sound as on the app. He said, did you hear the sound? You click on yes. Help improve next mini. Yes. Click on proceed. We say, where, where should this device located? Or where is the device located? And I'll choose my living room. Click on next. And you have to connect a Wi-Fi network to your Nest Mini so that it will be able to work. So I'll connect it to my Wi-Fi. Click on next. I'll click on OK. Now it's saying connected. So you can see the transition of the home mini. They say I should confirm my preferences. Voice match on. Personal results on. And deal calling on. And I click on confirm. As you what do you want to set up next? So we've added listening to music and radio, watch movie shows, call friends and families. And click on next. We like that. Play your favorite music. And click on next. So I'll choose Spotify because I have a Spotify account linked to it. YouTube music to is linked to it. So you select both of them. And click on next. Watch your favorite movie and show. Press next. Link video services. So my Netflix is not linked yet, but I'll link it later. Because I don't have my TV with me here. So click on next. Connect your calling message service. That's then you just see, hey, go, go, call mom. And it will call your mom. Click on next. Continue. They said we should add our phone number so that we can use it with a deal. But I'll skip this part. They said add your household contact, which I will do it later. They said, stay up to date on Google hardware, products, and related future services and offers. Plus, we receive invitations to help improve Google hardware products related services. Click on sign up. Here are a review of what you have set up. Click on continue. So now it is installing the latest Nest Mini software. To take about two minutes.
So they are, they are asking learn about controls for your next mini. So I click next. They said you can tap on the left side to increase volume and the right side to decrease the volume. You can tap on the middle to pause and play music. You can change volume to the side again. You can switch on the mic. That's on the side. You can switch on the mic. Click on done. So now they are telling you your living room speaker is ready. Click on continue. They said before you want to Google start. Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. They said if you want to start, just say. I didn't say the word because when I say it, if you have this smart device in your room, it will start operating to the function I gave it in my video. So we click on finish setup. So now as you can see, you see two devices linked on my Google Home. That's the living room TV and the Google Nest Mini. So now we can start testing how the Google Nest Mini operates. So now let's test the features that the Google Nest Mini has. So okay. Okay, Google, play me some music on Spotify. Sure, music on Spotify. Here you go. Okay, Gogo, stop music. Okay, Gogo, what's my name? Your name is Bash. Okay, Gogo. Tell me what you can do. Here are some things you can try. You can say, when is sunrise? Or, what time is it? Okay, Gogo. What is today's date? It's Thursday, March 2nd, 2023. And by the way, if you're ever feeling curious about other ways I can help, just ask, what can you do? Okay, Gogo. Set an alarm for 5 o'clock p.m. Got it. Your alarm set for today at 5 p.m. Okay, Gogo, turn off alarm. All right, I canceled it. Okay, Gogo, can you call mom? It looks like I don't have permission to access the contact names on your phone. To call or message those contacts, tap the notification I sent to your phone. Okay, the reason why the Gogo Nest Mini couldn't call a number for my contact is because I've not given it permission to access my contact, so it couldn't call. So if I give it permission, it could call any person I mentioned his or her name. Okay, guys, let's test one function. That's uh, what is today's weather. So, hey, Gogo, what is today's weather? Today in Wyoming, it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 62 and a low of 38. Right now, it's 56 degrees and partly cloudy. Okay, guys, the reason why it gave, it gave me the Wyoming weather report is because when I was setting my Google Home, I used my Wyoming address in which my previous video I showed you how to get a US address. So guys, I'll be asking the next minute the, uh, the weather in Ghana right now. So, hey Google, what's the weather in Ghana? Right now in Accra, Ghana, it's 87 degrees and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 90 and a low of 79. Due to the current humidity, it feels like it's 99. Okay, with the mic button here, you can on and off it to activate the command or dis disactivate the command. And also, with the next mini, when you wake up in the morning, you can give it a command as in uh, good morning. It will give you a reply and tell you the weather tell you the time and tell you the news, even the news concerning that particular day so that you won't go and on your TV to watch news, you can hear directly from your Google Nest Mini. So let's try that uh, feature and see. Hey Google, good morning. Hi Bash, the time is 12.01 p.m. 
Currently in Wyoming, it's 57 degrees and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be cloudy, with a forecasted high of 62 and a low of 38. And tomorrow, it'll be rainy. Sorry, that can't be done on this device. Why was 6 afraid of 7? Because 789. Here's a haiku by Matsuo Basho, an ancient pond, with a sound from the water of the frog as it plunges in. Have a great day. Here's the latest news. From Reuters TV, U.S. at 12.02 a.m. last Friday. Your Reuters news update will begin after this message. This is Real Time Business. Here's Jamila Abston Mayfield, EYUS Financial Inclusion Leader on financial services for the underserved. The financial services community has a responsibility to be inclusive for okay, all. Go, go, stop. This... So as you heard, when you say good morning to the next mini, it tells you the time, the weather, it gives you uh, top news trending and also to play some news for you to hear on your next mini. So let's test another function, that's the uh, volume button. When you tap on my right hand, it will reduce the volume. When you tap on my left hand side, it will increase the volume. So let's test it and see. As you can see, the light is dimming, which means the volume is decreasing. And when you tap on the left side, you can see the light is increasing, which means that the volume is at maximum level. So guys, this is the Nest Mini and it can do a whole lot of stuff if you connect your devices in your room to it. Right now, I'm not in my room, so I couldn't connect the Nest Mini to my Google Chromecast TV, my LED lights and my devices that support Google Assistant or third party apps. So guys, in the next video, I will try to link the Nest Mini to all my devices in my room so that I can show you how awesome or how amazing this product is okay guys we are done with the unboxing and the review of the Google Nest Mini if you want to explore more features you can look into the manual to know more features that the Google Nest has to offer so if you haven't subscribed to this channel hit the notification bell subscribe and like this video the more you subscribe the more you like it helps the family grow so guys, thank you for watching this video. See you next time. A peace.